Uh, 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 hi there. Um, you must be looking for Captain Kaya? Please, don't mind me. Oh, uh, wait, but what? Oh, jeez, Captain Kaya, wh what should I say? <laughs> oh, Mika, how have you not changed one bit after being on the front line this long? You were just asking me about the Storm Terror incident, weren't you? Well, allow me to introduce you to the legendary Honorary Knight. That's right! And also the legendary Paimon! <laughs> Hi there! You guys are so strong! I'm... I'm in awe! Um... I have to go and report in with Captain Eula now. Please excuse me. Well, that's too bad. Paimon was gonna ask him all about the expedition. That is a pity, it really is. But don't take it the wrong way. The way he sees it, every pair of eyes in Mondstadt is focused squarely on you. Give it some time, and this will all sort itself out. Next time you see him, I'm sure you'll get along just fine. In fact, let me share a little secret with you. Try talking to him about exploring the wild. You'll win his trust in no time. Well, what do you think? Glad you tagged along this time? A little birdie told me that you'll be staying in Mondstadt for the Vinelisa Fest. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Ah, oh, Lisa. The Grandmaster's letter is just on the table. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Apologies, I didn't get the chance to talk with you during the meeting just now. If you don't have any plans in the immediate future, why not stay in Mondstadt for a while? We'll be celebrating the Vinelisa Fest very soon. Don't be deceived. Jean may appear very composed, but she's been missing you both terribly recently. <sighs> Lisa... <laughs> I'll leave you to catch up. I'm going to read my letter. That's where our journey began, after all. We have a lot of fond memories here. Um, Master Jean, neither of us really knows anything about this Vine Lisa Fest. Could you tell us more about it? Yes, of course. The Vine Lisa Fest is an ancient Mondstadt festival, just like Ludi Harpastum and Windbloom. In addition, it's the most important part of the fall. Each fall, the west wind blows in Mondstadt. Legend has it that the wonderful scent of Mondstadt's winemaking during the harvest season entices even the animal Archon into attendance, being the great wine lover that he is. No matter where he is, he will transform into a soft breeze and return to his homeland. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like the animal Archon, all right. For this reason, Mondstatters call the western wind the returning wind, the Vinelisa Fest originally began as a celebration to welcome Lord Barbados on his return. In the past, every household would brew fresh wine around this time of year and keep it sealed at least until windcoming day during the following year's Vinelisa Fest. Uncasking the sealed wine is a symbolic way of inviting the Animo Archon to share a drink. Legend holds that if the Animo Archon is satisfied with the taste of the wine, he will summon a gentle breeze to richly bless the people. Knowing him, it was probably blessing them with more good wine the next year. That's a good question. Huh. But there's really no way of knowing. These are very old stories. Many of the details have been lost to time. Yep, that'll happen. Some stories change completely as they get passed down. Hence why these days, monsters will get into endless arguments over what kind of flower a wind bloom is. Mm, all part of how cultural heritage is created. Indeed. But for the time being, at least, the tradition of paying tribute to the Animo Archon on Windcoming Day is still alive and well, and the Vine Lisa Fest remains a time for Mondstatters to share the joy of the harvest with one another as they partake of fine wines. This is a time of the year when many Mondstatters living away from Mondstadt return to their hometown. 
For those unable to return, Vinlesa Fest is the period when they miss their family and friends most keenly. Oh, so that's why the Grandmaster wrote, May the Wind Carry Our Sentiments Back to Your Side. For this year, we've joined forces with the Church of Favonius and the Adventurers Guild to host a celebration on the banks of Cider Lake, just outside of Springvale. There will also be a traditional wine market during the festival period. Wine market? Well, originally, it was simply a place where winemakers and farmers would come to trade in raw ingredients for winemaking. These days, it is a much grander affair. Not only will you find a range of choice wines, but seasonal fruit beverages and food items for everyone to enjoy, too. A lot of people also sell secondhand goods and handicrafts at the market. The Knights of Favonius plan to use this as an opportunity to do some fundraising for needy children and elderly people in the city. Wow, sounds pretty cool! 